Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, and I'm going to be going through uh, the second part of display settings today. Uh, I'm going to be looking specifically at uh, screen sets. Uh, screen sets are an incredible uh, workflow tool uh, where you can basically resize uh, any of Logic's floating windows um, on the screens that you have available. So if you've got two or three monitors, um, or even just you know just two monitors, or even just one monitor, um, you can basically position uh, for certain tasks what you'd like to see in the in the foreground. So you may have a mixing screen set, you may have a recording screen set, uh, you may have uh, a screen set that shows all the tempos. If there's a lot of tempo movements in a song, you can have that sort of pop up um, and save to different screen sets. So let's go through it. I'm just going to open up this hip hop uh, example, which is just part of the templates. Right. So at this point in time, this particular song has five screen sets in here for different tasks. And you can basically just go through them using the numbers on the keyboard. Okay, so just say we want to, um, I don't want to see uh, this library, so I'll get rid of that, and that'll be R. Now, I want to keep this, but if you didn't want to keep that, you could get rid of that as well, it's I. So let's get back to having it in. Uh, I don't want to see this drummer thing. And I want to basically customize this thing like we did the other day. So I'll quickly just switch that up how I like it. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to, I want to basically lock this screen set to my, and call it screen set one. So first, um, make sure that it's unlocked uh, and then go shift L and then it'll dot will appear next to the number. So we'll go back to, we'll go to five, which is the mix one where the mixer comes up. And then we're gonna go back to one, the one we saved. And that's the one we saved, right? So, and as I said the other day, if we can basically get rid of this area, you get all this back, um, and then you may just wanna have a have a transport float instead. And you can put this on a, on a separate window, on a separate screen, sorry. Just for the purpose, purposes of this um, tutorial, I'm just going to put it down here. And um, so it's, it's currently, let's just unlock it. Let's just resave it again, Shift L. And we go back to five for the mixing, back to one for our save screen set and the transport bars on the bottom. Beautiful. So this is, can be applicable to any of these windows. Just say, for example, that you wanted to have, um, you have a lot of sort of tempo movements in the song. So you can adjust, uh, show the tempo list. For some reason, that doesn't appear as a floating window under Windows. It's a separate thing under Edit, uh, which is every time I go and look for it, I have to sort of remember where it is. Okay, so um, so basically, just so we want that, we don't want the transport there anymore. We want we want the transport back here. We'll just drag that down. Um, but we've got, just say we've got like, you know, 10 different tempo changes or time signature changes. They can all be there and we want it to sort of stay in the foreground. So we can lock that in there. Make sure it's unlocked. We've moved the tempo thing. Um, Shift L. Go to a different screen set. Go back to our one. And there it is. So if you want to basically add a new screen set, just hit one that isn't there. So for example, let's go for, so it goes up to five. So let's do one for six. So six is currently this situation here. And let's say we just wanted to make it the mixer um, instead. So six will be just our mixer. So we can close that one. As long as we've got one window open, logic won't close. And we can make that really, as large as we want. There you go. Um, if you want to also change the size of those, of the faders and the tracks, you can, or the strips, there it is, and you can just make them a little bit wider there to cover more ground, make them a bit easier to, to see. And we're gonna basically shift L and lock that in, and that's now number six. So let's go to one. 
which has got the tempo list floating. Um, six is our mixer. And it used to be it used to be a lot snappier um, many years ago when I was using Logic. Um, the changing the screen sets used to be a lot quicker than that. And for some reason, it's just got that lag now. But anyway, that's another story. Um, and that is screen sets. And I hope that has been very helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to share the video and have fun making music. Cheers.